Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker on the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. The uh, the winter weather advisory that was in effect overnight early this morning for our northwestern suburbs uh, has been uh, discontinued. Uh, we're still holding on to uh, gray skies, kind of damp and raw weather. We have uh, some heavier rain on the way for tonight and during the overnight hours, very early tomorrow morning. But we're going to remain in a weather alert because of wind. Justin issued uh, about an hour ago a high wind advisory uh, in Tan and a high wind warning along the coastline. Now, this goes into effect not until 2 o'clock Friday afternoon through uh, 10 o'clock in the evening. And during that window, you know, gusts between 50 and 60 miles per hour uh, possible. So the risk of, you know, at least isolated uh, power outages uh, is there. The chance is there. We'll have to watch for some branches and tree limbs and things like that. Secure your garbage pails and cans and stuff like that. So that's for Friday. In the meantime, uh, we'll take a look at the high temps today. It was a cooler day in the uh, topping out in the upper 30s to around 40. Uh, satellite and radar composite. And you can see another area of rain uh, that's obviously on our doorstep now. And getting ready to head in. So this, we initially, we just have drizzle out there right now. We're taping this as of a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This will be moving in this evening and during the overnight, and it will fall heavy at times. It's just a pipeline of moisture that extends all the way down through the Florida Panhandle and the Gulf of Mexico. And, and quite simply, this is all, you know, streaming north uh, tonight into a early tomorrow morning. It actually dries out later tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. Let me show you... Um, uh, the forecast and it shows this plume of moisture coming up the coast. This is two o'clock in the morning, some downpours, uh, kind of a while we're sleeping, some lingering showers uh, for 10 o'clock Friday morning. And it's rain, it's not um, <clears throat> uh, snow that's confined to upstate New York and the mountains of uh, northern New England. And then by uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, notice how uh, the drier air rushes in. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little peak of sun by mid-afternoon, mid to late afternoon on Friday in this envelope of dry air, 8 o'clock Friday evening, but it will turn colder and it will be very windy at that time. So we'll get in real close here and take you through the evening and you can see tonight the areas of heavy rain working in. This is uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, some downpours, and then uh, 9 o'clock in the morning uh, scattered showers, <coughs> excuse me, um, temps, you know, notice the temperature is actually jumping up quite a bit. It's already upper 40s to lower 50s at 9 a.m. by uh, Friday, 1 o'clock, some lingering showers. But look at these temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s. And then watch the punch of dry and the clear air coming in by 4 o'clock. You could even be a couple of flurries by uh, Friday evening. That's, this is really when the, um, the wind is picking up. And then clear, windy, very cold, 11 o'clock Friday night. It'll feel uh, more like winter with uh, temperatures in the 20s. So for this evening, uh, rain and cool, the rain becoming heavier late at night. Temps are in the uh, upper 30s. Friday morning, some uh, leftover rain, uh, milder. Temperature jumps by uh, 10 a.m. And then during the afternoon, the wind really picking up. Uh, strong wind gusts, especially by uh, late afternoon and early evening. And a, a rapid drop uh, in the temperature by uh, late afternoon. Sharply cold air comes in Friday evening, Friday night, and that sets the stage for uh, a colder weekend. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.